hello everyone welcome to the next lecture on the research paper writing today we will discuss about that how we can find the suitable journals especially for the springer journal for your research papers that is a the title is the springer journal suggest myself dr gar working in the school of mathematics thapar institute india you can contact me either of my email id sir there if you feel any doubt regarding the research writing else you can simply follow this link where we can find the various uh, talks related to that what we have discussed so far is we have discussed how you can paraphrase the uh, your paragraph while writing the research paper how we can avoid the plagiarism and what are the different types what are their consequences what are their difference between the sci and the scie how we can use the uh, google scholar to add the references either in the latex or in the ms world and finally we will discuss what is the difference between the references bibliography and the various citation styles like apa havard and so on in the last uh, videos are there so now in this video we will see how we can find all those uh, stable journals which are applicable for our research writing so make sure that once you have seen this then you are able to write your good papers in them so you can all those find you can found in my channel that is the dr harish gar and under the playlist research direction now what we will see that we will find the suitable journal now what is the meaning of the firstly suitable because it is a very uh, it's it is depending upon the person to person what is the suitable for them so when any researcher wants to publish their research paper especially in the springer publisher then they always try to look for the good journal which uh, which provides the good decision in a reasonable time for example if the person wants the suitable journal in terms of the scie or in terms of the sci expanded or in terms of the social science or they will focus only on the scopus emerging sci and many more are there so based on this uh, indexing the uh, the researcher can select the journals from this springer platform how they can select it for that you just go to the google and in the google you have to type the uh, springer journal suggester and you can see there are the two link will appear on them you can simply click on the first link once you will click on the first link then a uh, uh, window will be open like this way this is the interface of the website you can see this is the manuscript title so whatever you have uh, written your manuscript you have to put the title of the paper here and this is the manuscript text so anything which you want to copy from your text either you can copy the abstract either you can copy the conclusion or either you, you can copy the methodology and you have to put here now but my suggestion is that you always try to put the abstract of the paper in here why because the abstract of the paper will always give us about the brief idea what we have did in our or what we will do in our research paper so that's why my suggestion is you always put the abstract of the paper in the manuscript text column after that once you scroll down you will see there is a one another option that is a subject area what is the meaning of the subject area is if you are writing your paper Uh, in the physics category then you have to look at the here for the physics if you write here in terms of the chemistry then you have to look for the chemistry if you write in the computer science and so on so if you click on here then you will see these are the several options are there if you work on the design biomedicine business chemistry computer science and so on and many more are there you can scroll down below once you are selecting any one of them for example if i choose the chemistry here what will happen now it will be here after that you can click on this suggest journal your link uh, display list will be here how we can see let's see uh, if i have written a manuscript which is uh, belongs to the chemistry subject and my title is here and the abstract is look like say this one how we can find the suitable springer journal for this paper so you just go to the uh, interface of this journal suggester what you can do is you can simply copy the uh, title you can copy the abstract and you can simply put a uh, 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 type here that is a abstract title here you can type it and after that you can type in the uh, text and after that you can see once i will type here you can see i can copy the manuscript title i can paste the this is the abstract of the paper and in the subject area i can select chemistry and i can click on the suggest journals so you can see these are the suggest, suggested journal you can see at here you can see there are so many journals which is seen uh, in in front of your screen 
now how you can decide that if you look at the first journal which is shown to you that the first decision will take about on an average 40 days and the acceptance rate of this journal is very high and the impact factor is 1.137 if you work on the second journal you can see the average first decision is within the one month acceptance rate of the paper is 31 percent is again is very good and the impact factor is 1.941 on the other hand if you go for the beyond you can see the acceptance rate is 42 percent is first decision is my 38 days and the impact factor is is a is a, is a very good 6.2 and so on and look at that there is uh, the first decision is not be given here acceptance rate is not given and so on but if you look at and many more are there look at the acceptance rate is very less and so on but if you want to look at your journals more precisely what you can do is you can click on this refine your recommendation you what what is the minimum impact factor you want for example i want a uh, three impact factor as a minimum acceptance rate as you wish maximum time to the first decision as you wish indexing are there like say if you want to be a sci so you can see the SCI that's a science citation index also you want to be the scopus you can include the scopus and so many are there so once you are clicking here if you want to be the emerging SCI you can click on here and so on once you clicking here now what I do that I can filter up to the three impact factor minimum three so I click on this suggest journal now it will refine here the first journal that is acceptance rate is very good it will give around the one month are there its impact factor is here so all those filters are what is the category all those have minimum three impact factors and uh, it's all are the scopus and the SCI index are there again if you want to refine more what you can do is you can again click on this what is the minimum acceptance rate you want uh, at least to be the 30 percent is then again you can click now you can see this is acceptance rate is not be given so it will be eliminate you can see if you click on the suggest ratio so suggest journal you can see all are now 30 percent is will be there and now there are only these five or six journals whose impact factor is more than three and acceptance rate is more than 30 also you can move the first time decision say like say this is the maximum first time so you can say to be the maximum 35 acceptance rate or you want to remove you want you don't want to be the minimum impact factor but you want to be the maximum time to be the 35 days and you want to be only SCI index journals so if you click on this all the journals open access journals subscription journals so if you click on this now you can see all the impact all these journals have acceptance rate lies less than of 35 days you can see one two three and four and you can see the corresponding acceptance rate are there so based on this acceptance rate and your quality of your work you can select one of them how you can select you can simply click on this photo or the journal name you can see the journal description will be here and you can see the more indexing will be you can click submit your manuscript directly and you can see the aim and scope according to your uh, abstract or them once you will be here you can submit the paper and you will go ahead Similarly, if you want to move some another journal like say mathematics or the computer science journals, I want to write this paper, I want to publish in this in the Springer journal. What you can do is you, again you can copy this title, you can copy this abstract and again you can print on, you can type on this here. I can open this blank window again once more time. Look at this, I can type here, I can type uh, the uh, title and the abstract for this. Now my if I firstly I can subject area is my say computer science or mathematics you want to see the mathematics you can click on this here you can see this is the mathematics I can click on the mathematics and I click on the subject journals so you can see the since my topic is on the uh, reliability optimization using some optimization and in the abstract I have used some fuzzy words into strict fuzzy and so on so it will suggest me the journals which is the fuzzy optimization acceptance rate is a very low so it means a very high quality paper will be published and the first decision will be around the 75 days second is the computation and applied mathematics journal that's acceptance rate is again a very low a first decision will be take around 50, 85 days and here the impact factor is not be there so it means this is not the sci journal and 
again you can see some another are there acceptance rate 10 and so the impact factor is very less acceptance rate are there now you can filter them you want to be only SCA journalist so you want to eliminate this what you can do is you can refine your research you can indexing to be say uh, the science citation index only then you can click on the suggest journal you can see now all are having the SCA index journals are there now all those journals will publish their work which is accordance with your abstract and the title now based on your quality of the work you have uh, written in your paper and based on the journal pre-decided acceptance rate you can select either of the journals and will move ahead you can see the optimization and engine the first decision is not being given here so it means this is you can't say that the first decision will take how many days are there similarly you can see the other journals are there again if you want to filter more you can see the minimum impact factor i want to be a two maximum time to the first decision i can take as a 35 days for example and then let me check whether the, is there any journal which satisfy our criteria there is no journal so there is no journal whose impact factor is more than or equal to two and will take less than of the 35 days so if i just uh, delete this uh, maximum time but this is only for the mathematical subject category so if i just refine them having the subject mean and now this all have the impact factor greater than of the two and here on the other hand if you want to search this from the computer science journal because it is from the evolutionary algorithms so you can click on the computer science you can select on the computer science now you can select the minimum you can initially refine them there is no impact factor and you have to only search for the SCI index journals you can click on this you can see now this is the neural computing acceptance rate is 23 first decision is take around the 77 days and it's a journal is very well very well reputed are there second is the applied intelligence the acceptance rate is very less first decision is within a one month but acceptance rate is very less so it means if you have very good quality paper then only you can select this applied intelligence instead of wasting the time is there Similarly, the Journal of Supercomputing acceptance rate is, is, is better than of the previous one. Look at that acceptance rate is very high, but the first decision it will take around four months. Similarly, you can see the cluster computing acceptance rate is on an average, but take here and so on. Look at the acceptance rate is high, but it will take around the four months to give the first decision and so on. And you can see that this is a science Chinese information science acceptance decision will not be given here so this is the here also if you want to be op only you want to be the open access journal not for the all journal you can click on this so open access journal it will need the APC charges are there so there are only the two journals which having impact factors and there satisfy this condition if you want to be the subscription journal only it means there is no need to pay the APC charges and uh, it will be here are there. If you want to be published your journal in the good impact factor more than three impact factor you can click on here you can uh, search all the journals you can select select the journals you can see all are of the more than three there is no condition on the acceptance rate similarly you can see this applied intelligence acceptance rate is a very less journal but impact factor is very high but the first decision will take around the three and a half month and so on so this is a simple way you can click on your decision similarly if you want to click in the broader sense what you can you can you can simply click on this you can remove them firstly you can click on the engineering side so if you are working on engineering then it will refine your research more than they will give you the several results are there so you can see there are many more are there. again you can see the acceptance rate is 42 for the first decision is 200 days but it is not the SCI journal so you can filter them according to the SCA journals and you can find them stable journals are. So this is the way you can find the receptors uh, suitable journals. I hope you can simply learn from this and you can save your time in order to publish your research paper in the good journals. So I hope we will see in the next class. Next lecture will be similarly for writing some more tips for writing the journals. Else you can simply follow this link for more updated videos related to the journal publications. Till then. Best of luck students, happy learning.